what's going on everybody? Dare me taking a look at watchOS 7.3. So this update was released yesterday as I'm recording this video, along with several other software releases. Now I do have a video on the channel already about iOS 14.4, so if you want to check that out, be sure to go and do so. But let's go ahead and talk about watchOS 7.3 today. So the main new feature here, as you can already see, is a brand new watch face. Now this is in honor of Black History Month, and this watch face is inspired by the colors of the Pan-African flag. And this watch face actually changes throughout the day. So based on your movements, it changes just a little bit here and there. And if you look really, really closely, you can actually see it changing just a little bit right now. So the point of it, of course, is it's going to make you a unique looking face throughout the day. So that's pretty cool. You can also choose a complication uh, down here at the bottom. I just picked weather, for example. And then you can also choose to display the date up top. Or you can just have the time as one big watch face. So that's a new feature here in 7.3. Next thing here has to do with a new workout feature in Apple Fitness Plus. So if you subscribe to that, you now have a new thing called Time to Walk for Apple Fitness Plus. So this gives you an audio experience in the workout app where different guests are sharing stories as you walk. So again, you have to be subscribed to Apple Fitness Plus in order to get that, but you can now use the new Time to Walk feature if you would like. So the ECG app is now available in a few different countries, such as Japan, Philippines, and a few others. And then also in those countries, you now get the irregular heart rhythm notifications as well. And then finally, there's two bug fixes here, issues. So the first one was, if you're in a workout, you may not have correct information being displayed, such as your heart rate, your miles walked, etc., calories, all that stuff. So that should be resolved now. And the second thing was in your control center and notification center, if you had Zoom enabled, it may make those two things unresponsive. So those should both be resolved now as well. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for watchOS 7.3. That's everything new here. So let me know in the comments down below, is there anything I missed? I don't think there is, but if there is, <laughs> let me know. But yeah, what do you think about the new watch face? What do you think about the new features? Let me know down below. But anyways guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to click that subscribe button and leave a like if you enjoyed it and I'll catch you all in the next video.